This is MSNBC and it was at 3.30 on Monday the 15th. We have breaking news. Special counsel John Durham's report is out. Durham was hired by Attorney General Bill Barr to examine the origins and conduct of the investigation into whether former President Donald Trump's 2016 campaign colluded with Russia. He lost the only two prosecutions that he brought to court, John Durham did, but now his report, which again was just released a moment ago, appears to be an appeal to the court of public opinion. Joining me is NBC News correspondent Ken Delaney and our, our justice correspondent and also our legal analyst Barbara McQuaid. So Ken, um, this was just released a moment ago. It was highly anticipated. What did we learn from it? We're still trying to determine exactly what's new in here, Katie, as we go through this 300-page exhaustive report. But what John Dur the argument that John Durham is making here is an argument that he's made before, which is essentially that he doesn't believe the FBI had the proper predication, was fully justified in opening that counterintelligence investigation, codenamed Crossfire Hurricane, back in 2016 into the Trump campaign. He says that the FBI acted hastily and on uncorroborated raw information. And he says that the, there was other information, for example, about the Hillary Clinton campaign involving a foreign government that wanted to try to influence them that the FBI didn't react to in similar ways. Now, what's one of the most important things to know about this report is that it is directly contradicted by a 2019 report by the Justice Department's Inspector General, which also looked into all these events and interviewed a lot of these people and concluded that the FBI was justified in opening that investigation, and also that those decisions were free of any political bias. I mean, famously, some of the FBI agents, in particular one, Pete Strzok, uh, had expressed a lot of bias and hatred and animus towards Donald Trump in texts that later became public, but he was one of a group of people who made the decision to open this investigation. And remember, it was based on a Trump campaign aide, George Papadopoulos, telling an Australian diplomat that the Russians had gone to the Trump campaign and said that they could leak information damaging to Hillary Clinton that would be helpful to the Trump campaign. And as you know, as, as all our viewers know, at the end of this long road, the Robert Mueller investigation issued a report and found no evidence, uh, or they couldn't establish coordination, formal coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia, but they found a host, dozens and dozens of, of troubling contacts between Trump campaign officials and Russian officials, and a Senate intelligence uh, uh, committee report, a bipartisan report, went even further and said that that posed a counterintelligence risk to the United States. But now John Durham has come and he's investigated for four years. He's not charging any FBI officials with crimes, but he's saying in a report that he believes the FBI uh, did, acted inappropriately and was gullible and accepted information that it should not. <laughs>